The future is coming fast, and your world will never be the same. The future behold. There are few things in life more comforting or intimate than a nice, big hug. No technology, it was awesome. At the Mixed Reality Lab in Tokyo, Japan, Dr. Adrian Chiok and his team are making it possible to reach out and hug someone, even if that someone isn't there. Adrian, uh, at this mixed reality lab, you have a lot of strange things going on. I can't figure this one out. It looks like a cross between a torturous life vest, rain jacket. What is going on, and who is this? Well, this is uh, Nancy, my student. Hey, and Nancy. Uh, mixed reality is not just about visuals. It's also about mixing all of our senses with the, with the virtual world, okay. including touch. Touch. So this is a touch vest. That's right. Through the internet now, you can email someone, you can do video chat, but you can't touch someone, you can't hug someone. So with this... Oh, sure you can. No, no, no. I've seen people do it all the time. You put a little asterisk, you say <laughs> hug, and then you put another asterisk, and then they know you've sent them a hug. It's so important for human communication to touch and hug each other. So Justin Timberlake brought sexy back. You're bringing hugs back. That's right. How does this replicate a real hug? And if you just uh, uh, give a hug. My expert hug? Yes. We did a study of expert huggers such as yourself. Okay. And where you put your hands is where we put our special hugging actuation system on the body. Hugging actuation system. So this uh, system here yeah. will replicate the feeling of where you so are. So it's going to apply some pressure where my hands exactly. would be. Exactly. It gives a kind of feeling of the human hand caress okay. on, on your body, on the, on the body. Let's see it work. With Nancy far, far away in another location, Adrian takes out a controller and transmits his virtual hug via the internet. And then you can see that this hugging pajamas connected to the internet produces the hug in the same spot. We can both wear such jackets and then interactively we can have a hugging and caressing together right. through the internet. What if I wanted to smack it like, way to go, Nancy, yeah! <laughs> you that, then you can give can you send of... like a forceful pat on the back <laughs> through the internet? Yes, yeah, yeah, so maybe uh, the men's version or okay. something, yeah. Did that actually feel as good as my hug? Very good. Very comfortable. Wow. I'm one of the top huggers on the planet. Guaranteed. Top percentile in the world. I've been told. My mother told me. My sister told me. Girlfriends have told me. I'm a good hugger. I don't know if that's good for your technology or bad for my hugs. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we can get the same caress like an expert hugger like okay. yourself. All right. Thanks for playing to my hugging ego. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sometimes technology comes along to solve really obvious needs and obvious problems. Other times, it gives you a hug actuating system. We mm. all have been told that the internet globalizes communication, but communication is about more than text messages and audio files and video clips on YouTube. It's about the other senses that we have as human beings. It's about touch. And when you can have that connection across great distances, well, then you're making communication not just more faster, but also more human. The future, behold.